Okay, we're going to take a look at an app called Dinosaur Train A to Z by PBS Kids. And uh, when you come onto the home screen, you've got a couple of options. We can go with the train or the dinosaurs. You can go down here and look at the uh, parents' information too. We can turn the music or the narration down. English or Spanish is a language and it tells you a little bit about how the app works, but I'm going to show you that. So we've got the train here to start and we can move through the train. You'll see all the letters all over the train. So you can access the dinosaurs by touching a letter. Hadrosaurus was a duck-billed hadrosaur that lived in North America during the Cretaceous time period. And then you'll notice down the bottom you've got these four brown circles and each one of them does something different, but you can interact with the dinosaur a little bit and kind of move him around by touching different parts of his body and things like that. Okay. Hadrosaurus. And you repeat his name. If we go on the... Going to about 30 feet long, Hadrosaurus was a giant. It may have walked on four legs when moving slowly and two legs when going faster. So you've got the x-ray view and you can just click back out of that by pressing the same one. Hadrosaurus was a duck-billed hadrosaur that lived in North America during the Cretaceous time period. We can have a look at what he might have eaten. Hadrosaurus was a plant eater or an herbivore. The name Hadrosaurus means sturdy lizard. It was the first dinosaur to have its skeleton mounted in a museum. And if you really like him, you can add him to your favorites by highlighting the star. Now you can go backwards and forwards through dinosaurs was a simply by dinosaur. scrolling the screens. Was a One of the first dinosaurs discovered, Iguanodon was a large dinosaur that lived in Europe during the early part of the Cretaceous time period. And there are 26 dinosaurs, one for each letter of the alphabet. You can go back out to the train, and again you can select them by going through the train, or you can just click on the dinosaurs, and you've got options here. So you can have show all, which will show all of the dinosaurs. You can scroll through the screens. If you're looking for more dinosaurs, there are in-app purchases where you can buy certain packs. They're only 99 cents, but they look kind of exciting, so that would be fun. You've got some more coming on the way. Um, if we go back to the home screen, then you can break them down from carnivore, herbivore, and omnivore simply by carnivore. touching these buttons down here. Herbivore, omnivore, carnivore. And you go back to oh. all, and then you can go bipedal, bipedal, quadruped, quadruped, and marine. Marine. There's none on the marines there yet. Go back oh. to show them all. Then you can go through the time periods. Triassic. Triassic. Jurassic. Jurassic. Cretaceous. Cretaceous. And if you've added any to your favorite, you simply Cretaceous. press the favorite button and they will come up. And you can look at them simply by clicking on them. was a relatively small armored stegosaur dinosaur from the late Jurassic time period. So it's a lot of fun and a lot to explore. You can go back out to the screen where you can oh. see all of the dinosaurs. So I highly recommend it. It's by PBS Kids and it's called uh, Dinosaur Train A to Z. So if you get a chance, check it out. I'm sure the kids will really enjoy it.